News 18, weather from where you live. Well, we're tracking our next storm system will affect us very early uh, next week. Right here it is moving into the Pacific Northwest. And this is going to race east for it to redevelop and really form a strong storm that will race up through the plains and bring rain and storms to our area. Now at first it's not going to have a lot of moisture with it because this will likely become a tropical system. Tropical storm likely. We'll wait and see if it ends up being a very low end hurricane, but this will likely make a landfall right in this zone here around Saturday or Sunday. But that will tend to kind of hold a lot of the moisture down to our southeast and prevent us from getting much rain until Monday. But this tropical system down here will provide some moisture that will help us wring out some rainfall by the time that we do get to Monday. But in the meantime, it's just low clouds around. We'll get a little clearing tonight. Best chance in the southwestern half of the viewing area. Those places may drop into the low 30s here and there. It'll be a little warmer in the northeast where the low clouds will definitely hang on. 38 Rochester, 38 Peru. And then tomorrow, a gradual clearing trend. The winds will gradually diminish to 55 for the high temperature with highs generally in the low to upper 50s for the area. 57 though, Covington, 54 Flora, and about 53 at Logan's Fort. Tomorrow night, upper 20s down in our south. The low 30s north, there's going to be a little bit more wind up here. That's why it's a little warmer here. Calm winds in the south will allow it to get much colder with mostly clear skies around. Now on Friday, after a cold start, warms up in the afternoon. We see some increasing high mid-level clouds, winds out of the south, southeast, a high of 64 with high 60 to 66 over the viewing area. So still a lot of clouds around tonight, some breaks, especially here in the southwest half, but more sun with time tomorrow. But we will begin to cloud up a little bit once we get to Saturday, and I think there could be a couple isolated showers and storms in our area. This model's overdoing a little bit with the rain, but certainly much of the moisture will get sucked up into this tropical system making landfall. So that's going to really cut down on much rain Saturday and Sunday for us. But tropical moisture will flow into our strong cold front with severe weather right in this zone out here. And this could be a line of storms embedded in a band of rain that comes through on Monday for us and notice the severe weather risk down here to the south, Oklahoma, Texas, parts of Missouri, and how some of that isolated severe weather risk gets up into our area come Monday. And part of the area on Monday may get one to two inches of rainfall. 70 forecast, normal high is 65, normal low 43. 72 on Saturday, 76, nice on Sunday. But rain and storms Monday, isolated severe weather risk, windy and 74 before we cool off Tuesday, Wednesday. And then another front will bring maybe highs only in the 40s by the end of next week. All right, it'll be nice this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, Chad. Uh